You've all seen them. It's a, called a tractor shovel or a scoop. It's like a mini bucket. This is my inspiration. I will try to improve. This is a similar version. I hope mine will turn out relatively as nice. Let me show you what I got started. First off, I bought this quick disconnect pen for a snow blade. The matching set is $60. I'll show you how I had to assemble it in a few minutes. As you can see, I have the spring. There's a roll pin in here. That's going to hang about like so, which I believe that's way too far down. So I'll be cutting this off. That's a piece of two inch angle, so it's going to drag the ground if you do any movement in the yard. My plan is to mount this piece of square box out of flat stock right here that way I can mount the actuator to the top here where my hands at and I have the snow blade I bought it's used we'll take some modification I'm gonna cut off those little supports at the bottom they're just added weight I don't need not sure what I'm going to do with the bracket, how much will be kept. Local fab shop, Bentos piece, $60. I left myself extra room at the top. I can cut it down or use it to weld off of whatever I need. I'll show you more progress as I get moving along. This is the kit number for the bracket that I bought. This has how it came. Let me kind of show you what is really involved. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. But basically, and sits through the outside. And that's the quick disconnect. But the way they send it, you have to install the spring in here yourself. So that makes life a little interesting. Best way I've found, take a pair of needle nose pliers Preferably the one with the vice grip. Pull the pin back where you can just see it in the hole here. And then get the spring. Give yourself enough room to put this in and clamp it in place. Then you can pull this back out. And give myself enough clearance. Pretty well snug when it's when I do it this way. And as you can see, now I can get to the roll pin and push it in. Now that the spring's compressed, you can see I have that arm 
turn sideways out of the hole. That way it turns the hole up for the cotter pin. I'll put this in the vise and drive it in with a hammer. Here I've got the pin installed, sticking out almost equally on both sides. And now we'll mount it to the tractor and release the clamp. I don't I don't know if you noticed in the video earlier there I had cardboard on both sides so I didn't destroy the paint in the vise. 